What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are getting started with our regulation H grind on the casual ladder. The reason we're on the casual ladder, obviously, is because regulation H does not drop till September 1st. But a lot of you guys want to see it, and including myself, I really want to play some regulation H team. So we are hopping onto the casual ladder probably from here on out until regulation H drops with very cool regulation H teams. No legendaries in this restricted format gonna be absolutely dope cannot wait for it. but today what a better way to get it started we are rocking out with garchomp and tyranitar regulation h team garchomp super amazing super dope pokemon really fell off when uh restricted pokemon kind of came in here and paradox pokemon we're not gonna see paradox pokemon in regulation as well so no flutter main to dump on garchomp but uh yeah garchomp is still very strong and i think it's gonna thrive out in this format especially next to titar Let's talk about it. Garchomp's got Sand Veil to pair up with the Sandstorm on Titar. It's got Clear Amulet, which is an amazing item. It's got the Steel Terror type with Stop and Tantrum, EQ, Dragon Call, and Protect. Tyranitar going to be its best friend in today's video. Obviously, Rock and Sandstream is its ability with the Assault Vest, the Flying Terror type, Rock Slide, Knock Off, Terror Blast, and Low Kick. Arguably the best moveset for any Tyranitar. Now, they did ban Restricted and Legendaries and Paradox Pokemon. But one Pokemon that they didn't ban is Incineroar. So Incineroar is still going to be at the top of the game, going to be used on pretty much every single team. And we got it on today's team doing Incineroar things. Our final three Pokemon going to be Corviknight, Amoongus, and Primarina. Primarina is a great water and fairy type Pokemon. Amoongus, great support. And Corviknight there for speed control, bulk ups, and uh, Brave Birds. All that good stuff. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Tyranitar and Garchomp Regulation H team. So, guys, since we're on the casual ladder, we do occasionally go up against some weird teams that don't look like they're EV invested. So, kinda gonna be an easy one. You know what I'm saying. We're going to go T-Tar Garchomp and just sweep this fool. We're going to let him know that Jeans don't play around or Jeans doesn't play around and he's here. He's here. You see Jeans on the ladder, he's coming at you. But I'm going to go Garchomp. I'm going to go T-Tar here. Um, other great Pokemon could be Incineroar, but to be honest, uh, a few physical attackers or a few special attackers. So I kind of don't want to bring Incineroar. I think I'd rather bring Prima Arena, who could be pretty good, alongside with like support Amoongus. I like it. I'm super down with it. I think our T-Tar Garchomp might just sweep this. But to be honest, I mean, if they lead like Feraligator or even Greninja, it could be in for a tough battle. And who knows? This just might just be like a weird casual battle, like with EV invested Pokemon. You never know. This could be actually pretty tough. But chances are, I got this. But you get this sometimes when you hop on the casual ladder. But it's super fun playing on the casual ladder because you never know what you're going to go up against. Especially with Regulation H, I feel like this this format's going to be amazing. Like I mentioned in the beginning, no Legendaries, no Paradox, no Restricted. So no Kyogres, no Urshifus, no Tornadoses, no Flutter Mains. We don't have to deal with Flutter Main first time in a while since like the second format in this game. And we're really getting after it. So it's gonna. It, I think this format's going to be so much fun. I really do. But they end up going for Ralgator, Not just Ralgator, Shiny Ralgator, alongside with... Uh, with what's it called? With Typhlosion, I think just going for like an EQ here and like a nice little Terra flying is probably in her best interest. And then just double down into this, uh, this Frowlgator with, uh, and, and Typhlosion with Rock Slide. I think that's just a solid play, but Garchomp and Titar are back. And you're going to see Extra Drill on the ladder a little bit. Hydreigon is going to be an elite option. I feel like a lot of the Dragon Pokemon are going to start seeing a big part in the metagame. Considering like the main fairy type Pokemon was Fluttermane and now that's out of game we're gonna have to use other fairy type Pokemon and not all the or probably any of the fairy type Pokemon aren't as strong as Fluttermane so dragon types are gonna start coming back up into the meta which is gonna be really cool but I'm gonna be able to pop an EQ here with the flying Terra probably just dump on Typhlosion Typhlosion's gone ain't he yep Typhlosion's gone and like I said we're just gonna sweep this this match no problem this one's an easy one for us and you're actually outspeeding me and yo thank god Thank the Lord, Sand Veil coming in clutch. My, my Garchomp would have just died. It would have just died. So, yeah, these Pokemon are EV invested. You're outspeeding my Garchomp. Is this a Jolly Garchomp? Let me see this Garchomp's uh, stats. Luckily, we got that Sand Veil cooking. Evasiveness through the roof. Through the roof, which we love. Which we love. They're going to go Greninja, who's probably faster than my Garchomp. And on top of that, probably Sceptile. Yep, they're going to go all their starters, and they're all shiny, except for the Sceptile, which is kind of sad news. 
Let me see your speed. I'm going to see how fast that Feral Gator is. Okay, that Feral Gator is pretty fast. See how the speed of my T-Tar? I mean, T-Tar is only at 82. Okay, so it's probably like mid-speed, like 100. All right. Um, so we have Garchomp on the field. We could just stay in here. I could honestly just protect because I feel like they got to attack this slot. And then from here, I could just go Terra Blast into this, uh, this Sceptile and try to get like a Protect Read. But I think Greninja has to be attacking my Garchomp, correct? Going for Dunk Shot. Ooh. He's gonna switch to Poison type, and he's landing it. Oh, no. Actually, soaked pretty well. Poison? No, no Poison, but Leaf Blade's flying at the Garchomp slot. Should be kicking me here. Just say bye-bye to Sceptile, and then we can just double down to Greninja. Say night-night. GG's, like I said. Easy match for us. Hopefully, in match number two, we go up against a Regulation H team. We probably won't be going up against many Regulation H teams, because, like, the rule set just got announced, and a lot of people are team building, but who knows? Hopefully... More people than I think are on the casual ladder rocking out with regulation each team. Because again, it's a super dope format. It really is. But from here, I can just drop EQ. He is now a poison type, so we can honestly just kill it with EQ. And we can just go into Rock Slide. So thanks for playing. GG's. Gonna go for a gunk shot. We soaked this all day. And you're landing two gunk shots. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. EQ's gonna finish you off in one shot. You poison type Pokemon. Stab, super effective. Get on out of here. There it is. I called the sweep. We got the sweep. Pretty easy one in match number one. So close to a regulation H team. They got a bunch of regulation H Pokemon, but they have one paradox. Screamtail. I'll take it. This kind of looks like a regulation H team. Should be a good battle. They got Coastar Flamigo alongside with Tatsugiri and Dondozo. We've seen that combo in early formats of competitive for Scarlet and Violet. Golden Go is going to make its way back on top in regulation H. Same thing with Palafin. So we're going to have to watch out for Golden Go here. But who are we leading? Because they have no weather. We could just go T-Tar Garchomp. We could just go T-Tar Garchomp again. That's not a bad call for us. We could also go into Amoongus just to put, you know, Don Dozer to sleep. Or just clear smog. We definitely want Amoongus in here. So you know what? I'm going to end up going into these two. I'm going to bring Amoongus in the back end because clear smog is just a blessing here. And last but not least, do we go Primarina? Or do we go Incineroar? I mean, Incineroar could be good. I like Incineroar. I mean, I could honestly go you, but I like Incineroar a bit more with, with knockoff. You don't have Flare Blitz, which is a little tough, but you got Fake Out, you got Taunt, you got all that good stuff. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go Incineroar. Incineroar. Knockoff can just do a lot of work here. Taking off items, super effective onto that Golden Go. Golden Go can't really hit me hard because I'm fire typing. All right, so Amoongus might be MVP this match because whenever I see Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, I feel like you have to be running like a Haze or Clear Smog Pokemon, especially in the early stages of competitive. Everybody was starting to run Haze with like Murkrow or even Haze with Palafin. So Haze is just top tier. We're well, just going to go into Tatsugiri alongside with Screamtail here, which is a little odd. A little odd. Do I just go EQ into... Do I just go EQ into... You might have a nice move. I want to Terrasize here. I think we should Terrasize Dragon Claw. Harass slash Dragon Claw, I'm all for it. And then we can just Rock Slide and attack. Because are you really going to swap into Don Dozo here? Probably not. I don't think you swap into Don Dozo. Usually you lead Don Dozo, then you swap into Tatsugiri. It's, it's never the other way around because you just get so much more value out of it. Doing it the correct way by leading Don Dozo. Who knows? This could be Storm Drain Tatsugiri, and honestly, they might not even go together. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to end up protecting Tatsugiri. Pretty smart protect. Um. No way you're popping trick him, right? Could just be going for a play rough. Um, you're kind of scaring me. What are you doing, Squintel? That's what you're doing. All right, cool. I guess for a Parasong, uh, we're allowed to swap, which is pretty good news. Um, could launch another Dragon Claw if we want to. I think we have to swap at least one of them here. It might be T-Tar. Do we leave Garchomp on the field? Or do we swap Garchomp? I think we leave Garchomp on the field. I think we still go for a Dragon Call into this Tatsugiri slot. And we swap the T-Tar. I like it. So, Parish Song here. Little bit of Parish Song. Alright. Yeah, I think just attack. I think just stick with Dragon Call here is in our best interest. We'll go Dragon Call and we will swap into Amoongus here. Just in case they want to swap into... Uh, Dondozo, we can just clear smog it. 
Yep, there's Sandozo. I'm cool with this. So we're gonna miss our Dragon Claw. That's totally fine by me because I get to bring out my boy and I can just clear smug it up. And Tatsugiri will eventually die in the Parasong. Okay, so that's our whole plan here. The whole plan is to drop a Parasong. Their whole plan is to drop Parasong, swap in Dondozo, have the Tatsugiri die in the uh, Dondozo's mouth, then have Dondozo all boost it next to whatever Pokemon. Okay, so I got their combo down. Nothing crazy. I mean, I can protect Garchomp this turn. I could swap Garchomp if I want to. And I can just clear Smog Dondozo. But since we have two turns left in our... Uh, since we have two turns left in our... Uh, what's it called? Our Parasong, I think we're totally fine with just protecting Garchomp this turn. And then clear smogging. Because I'd rather have this thing stats low when I swap out, right? So let's just protect. Let's go into a lovely little clear smog. Clear smog's so good. Just kind of... He's not, he's not ready for me to just take away all of his stat changes. He's not ready. So we can have T-Tar Garchomp in the back end. Man, yo, this is already so much more fun than the restricted format because restricted format I'm just getting like Astro Barrage all game long it's really annoying but he's gonna end up going for EQ good protect on R and Tatsugiri dodges it obviously we protect it Amoonga's gonna soak no problem correct because this is not stab yeah no problem and clear smog flying bye bye stat changes like I said Amoonga's gonna be elite here because Tatsugiri's gonna die out next turn but Dondozo doesn't have the stat changes anymore so I think we're pretty much free to maybe just swap in Incineroar to intimidate? Do I intimidate him? Yeah, I think I'd rather just intimidate. I think I'd rather just intimidate. I know you could be going for EQ, but I could do this and then just, uh, you know, put you to sleep. Or I could heal him up. Actually, I could do it next turn. So, we're gonna put him to sleep. And we're gonna swap our boy. I'm not playing around, man. Not dealing with this Don, Don Dizzy Don Dozo combo. <laughs> it's so good. But luckily, we had the Moogus to kind of do this. So now we intimidate him. He went from being plus two on every stat to being minus one and now he's gonna get boosted a little bit more he's even now i don't mind it but he's asleep night night and bye bye tatsugiri so we dealt with the parasong we dealt with don dozo's stat boost and now tatsugiri's gone and we put don dozo to sleep which we love <laughs> don dozo's to sleep i can take off items i can fake out next turn i can pump up heal um i might just end up swapping my amoongus to be honest with you because by swapping Amoongus, we can actually get Regenerator back, get some HP. Really depends on who they go into. I can go Fake Out, swap back into Garchomp. That's not bad. But then EQ's looking terrifying. Are you going to Parasong again? That's the real question. That'd be the real question. I think it's a good turn for us to swap into Garchomp here. And party shot into Dandozo. Get back out T-Tar next one. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I can even bring back out uh, Amoongus if I want to. Which I might end up doing. Just get back some HP. Might end up bringing back out my boy, so... We're going to go into you. We're going to Parting Shot into the Screamtail. I don't really know what Screamtail is going for. I'm going to go for a Psychic, which is fine. We soak that. No problem. Nice little Steel type. Dondos is guaranteed to be asleep this turn. And I thought I put that into the uh, Screamtail slot. But, I mean, Dondos works. Got that thing's attack a little bit more. I can go right back into Amoongus. I can go right back into Amoongus. With some more HP. Beautiful. Lovely. And just save our T-Tar. Because Sandstorm is going to end soon. And I'd rather... Swap back to my T-Tar when I can. And Sandstorm honestly might end this turn. Yeah, it does. Okay, I mean, we don't really need it. Um, I could just Rage Powder here. I could start sending EQs. But I think Stopping Tension was probably a little bit better for us. Rage Powder and... We should go EQ. Hmm. I might protect Screen Tail, but I'm gonna go for Sonic Tantrum and do it. You are now you're gonna go for Psychic here. That does is gonna wake up. That's a little tough news for us. And he's just protecting. Okay, that's fine for me. That is fine for me. So he's gonna psychic down my uh Amoongus here. 
So Moog is probably going to die out here. Hopefully he can soak this. That's kind of why I want the parting shot into that. But Sopping Ketchup should do a nice chunk chip of damage. Not bad. Shrink Tail's a little bulky. And yeah, there's the Psychic. The psychic flies out here. Amoongus actually so much good news. Do I just Rage Powder again? We know he wants to go for EQ. We know he wants to go for EQ. He's even on attack board. I could just swap into Incineroar and drop his attack stat. Let's just start attacking this Dondozo. We know he's going for EQ. But I can save my Amoongus. I'm gonna start Dragon Claw on this Dondozo down. I'll, de I'll deal with what's called when we get a chance. I'll deal with Screamtail when we get a chance, because he wants to go for Psychic. So I am a Dark type, which is good. We Intimidate, we drop his attack stat back to minus one. Um, Regenerator pops back out here. Dragon Claw, how much damage are we doing? It's pretty good damage. It's pretty good damage. I am going to take some Rocky Helmet, which I don't like. And there's the Psychic, which we block. And are you going for EQ? No, no, you're going for Wave Crash, which I should soak for minus one. Cool. So soak that, you take a little bit of recoil. Um, taking out Screamtail might be best for us, or do I just parting shot dip? I'm gonna parting shot dip. And then just go for another Dragon Call here. Yeah, let's do that. You might even protect on those, though. Yep. God dang it, man. Man! Should I fake that Screamtail? Or you Screamtail protect me as well? Dragon Call gonna get blocked. I'm not too worried about Screamtail. I really am not. He's gonna go for Dazzle Gleam, which is fine. We serve pretty well. I may be able to party shot into that. And I can bring back out Amoongus if I want to. I can bring back out Amoongus, who has even more HP. Or I can bring back out Titar, which I might just do. Get a little bit of Titar action out here. Get the Sandstorm on, and then swap back into Amoongus. Yeah, yeah. Or I could swap back into Incineroar. But I think you want to go for Wave Crash, right? Most likely want to go for Wave Crash. Wish I had a steel move. I could just rip into that slot. So Buffett's back on the field, which we love. Chipping up damage left and right. And I think we, we're going to want T-Tar, so I'm just going to swap, and I'd rather swap back into Incineroar here. Just get that attack drop. And then just Dragon Call and finish off Dondozo. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So we swap back out my T-Tar. Yeah, we're playing really, really well. This is why I love Regulation Each. It's not just super crazy strong offensive Pokemon doing insane damage. You have to, you have to swap more. You have to think out your turns a little bit more. This is why Incineroar is going to be so good. Just the, the pivoting factor of it is amazing. But Dragon Claw finishes off Don Dozo. We do take Rocky Helmet damage, but that's a big time KO for us because now we're sitting with uh, Screamtail, who's minus one on special attack already. And it can't really do that much damage, so it's really good for us. And we got Fake Out ready to roll. Man, yo, Regulation H gonna be gas. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But yeah, Incineroar, Incineroar is gonna be top tier. So Flamigo's gonna come out here. Do you co-star bad stats? I don't think you do. No shot you do that. No shot. You got White Herb. Okay, so that, that kind of cancels it out. So this thing's at normal. We can fake it out, and I can just rip a Dragon Claw into Flamigo. I'm not too worried about Stream Tile. I'd rather just attack this Flamigo slot. He's probably looking to go for Close Combat, right? Close Combat's looking to do some big-time damage into us. Maybe I should have went for Parting Shot, but I don't know. If we just attack this Flamigo, we should be pretty good. Should be really good. We still have a Moongus in the back end who I can hard swap for and just sacrifice just so we can get off and intimidate. That's good news. And I think we, we would want to do that. Depending on if my Incineroar survives. Let's see what they do here. They protect the Flamigo. Okay, so Flamigo gets the protection. Uh, Buffets are going to chip around. And Fake Out's going to come out here and get blocked. Same thing with Dragon Claw, but Screamtail. Again, minus one. It's taking damage from Sandstorm. We're slow playing this one. Considering that first match was a quick one, this is this is a great second match for us. Dazzle Gleam gonna fly here. Garchomp soaking that no problem. My Terra Garchomp, which is great news. And everybody's taking buffets. So yeah, Flamigo's physical attacking, close combat can do some big time damage. It's looking a bit scary. So I think swapping into my Amoongus and just like sacrificing that is is good for us. So I'll go into Amoongus. I'll get my Incineroar out for another turn. And do I just pop EQ or do I just Dragon Claw? I'm just gonna Dragon Claw Flamigo. 
it's flying type anyway. And he's probably close combating the uh He's probably close combating the Incineroar, let's be honest here. Now we get Flamigo. Flamigo and my Amoongus is now out here. There's Brave Bird and I'm Sand Valen. I'm Sand Valen, baby. Dragon Call able to launch, bop, big time damage from Garchomp. And that's gleam gonna fly. And Garchomp still sitting here soaking up everything. Still sitting here soaking up everything. So to be honest, uh, it might protect the Flamigo. That might just go for Rage Powder here. Do you think it's protecting Flamigo? There's another Dazzling Gleam will KO me. That's the one problem here. I think we just go for like a Spore in this slot. Then we we attack Flamigo. Let's see. Nope, they finally cancel the match. So a long drawn out regulation each battle. Match number two. And I believe we swept. We did. We had all four Pokemon. Moving on to our final match, and this is what we get for hopping onto the casual ladder. Not only are they rocking Miraidon, they also have Koridon. So doubling down with Box Heart Legendaries. They also have Screen Scrim Snarl, which I hate playing up against. Furthermore, they're rocking out with Metagross Urshifu and Wellspring Ogre Pond. If we win this match, I'm a dog. That's all I gotta say. I'm a dog if I win this match. Um, who should we lead? Their only weather is going to be Koridon. And honestly, I think going T Tark Garchomp is fine for me. Um, they have a few physical attackers, so Incineroar could be pretty solid here, as long as that's not Water Urshifu, but I think it's Dark Urshifu, which actually, Incineroar, you might still be a problem. Primarina, you can actually be good here, and I'm kind of trying to decide between all these. I mean, we got Bulk Up, we got Brave Bird for you. I actually still think Incineroar is just better here. Knockoff's going to be super effective onto that Metagross if they want to bring it, and, and he's just good. He's just good, let's be honest here. Let's be honest, we really don't want to bring Amoongus either because of actually training with Miraidon allows them not to go to sleep, so Spore would just be a problem. So, yeah, we're looking to just go Regulation H and up against uh, Box Heart Legendaries. Again, if I do this, I'm an absolute dog, but we're, we're sitting 2 0 for today's video. Really good matches so far. They're going to go Grimstone Urshfu, which is okay. I mean, yeah, you set up the screens, whatever. Cool. I'll deal with it. Um, and that's Water Urshfu, so I think we just have to go into. Flying Terror here and start sending EQs. And we'll Terror Blast in this slot. Yep, that's what I'm looking to do. We already know he's setting up a Reflect. It's annoying, but he's going to do it. We might have to hard swap into, into Incineroar. Grimstone is just going to be an issue for us. I mean, we do have Primarina, since Primarina is pretty good. He ends up with Jaw and Urshu, which kind of sucks, man. What Pokemon are you going into? Right on. You're right on. Okay, actually, this is not bad because we're sending EQs. We are sending EQs. I'm fine with this. So he gets Electric Terrain. Surprised he didn't swap into uh, Koridon to get Weather Control. Maybe he didn't bring it. Hopefully he didn't bring it. I'm Terrasline. Straight flying. EQs are ready to go. EQs are ready to go. Grimstone, are you setting up Reflect? Most likely. Probably. No, you're not. Hold up. Wait a minute. You going for Spirit Break? DQ's launching. You ride on. Oh, dude, that would have been so nice to get rid of that. But Terror Blast, can you pick it up? Pick up that KO. You got Terror boosted too. You ride on, gone. Get it on out of here. We get a crit. That that crit honestly might have might have saved us. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna go for a Spirit Break. Special Attack Shot, which is good. You should soak this. Dope. Awesome. No Reflect or Light Screen. That's uh, we're a big fan of that. We are a big fan of that. Now, if they do end up going into Koridon here, which I could see happening, they don't. I still might swap into Incineroar. Just that physical attack drop is massive. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go Incineroar for Intimidate. And we're going to launch another Terror Blast into this slot. We're going to launch another Terror Blast into this slot. So Garchomp Titar really kicking it today on the casual ladder. But now we go into Incineroar, dude. He, Incineroar is going to be good in Regulation H. You guys thought it was good in reg Regulation G? Just wait till you see this thing in Regulation H. The power level is lower, so it's harder to get this Pokemon off the field. He's so good. He's so good. He's going to end up going for Woodhammer, and we are just we are just kicking it right now. Intimidate's going crazy. I, there's a chance I'm paralyzed, but if not, your Ogrepan's dead. Later, Ogrepan! Get on out of here. Now I got your Grimstone on minus one. And it can't swap. 
Oh my lord, I, I might be a dog. I might be a dog. They're Karada in his final Pokemon. Do you have Karada? You might, I don't think he brought it. Because if he brought it, you would have sent it out. Oh no, it's Urshfu. I totally forgot. They had Urshfu. They still have Terra. Um, I can fake out here, which is good news. And I think I'm just going to fake out Urshfu and... Look to KO this Grimstrong. Actually, we'll go for Rock Slide. Just chip up a little bit of damage into, uh... Into Urshfu. And we'll see a Terra pop out here. This has got to be Urshfu. Dark type, and we're faking it out, so it's good news. It's fighting typing. Ooh. He's looking to do some damage. He's looking to dump on Incineroar, but we're faking out this turn, which is really good. Um, I can always just hard swap in the Prima Arena. The Thunder Wave is going to fly here. I'm a dark type prankster. It does not affect. Oh, I didn't even realize that this thing's name is the Daug. <laughs> it's Incineroar's name, the Daug. I'm trying to be calling myself it this whole battle. I said if we win this match, we're the Daug. <laughs> and Incineroar's name is that. That's honestly funny. That's honestly funny. So we kind of already know what he wants to do. And I guess he just wants to turn off his console. But I was going to swap into Prima Arena because of uh, close combat. But yeah, we just beat double box art legendary team with a regulation each team. I'm the dog. I'm the man. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record starting things off hot with our regulation H showcasing. Garchomp, Titar, absolutely amazing. They're going to be elite within regulation H. And obviously Incineroar is going to be a god an absolute god this thing is insanely strong in regulation g regulation h lowers the power level and incineroar just becomes even better but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody